Brakes, suspension, suspension, aero, aero, slicks, rigidity, roll cage, race car. All coming up in this episode. Start by removing the old brakes and suspension, and while I'm here and I got the space, I make start on the fender cuts. The coiler was being fitted a cheap FX units. They are, however, height adjustable, and I made some custom modifications to the mounting brackets to get about 1.5 degrees of camber. Making improvements to our rear diffuser, we're doing this by increasing the side profile and a bumper chop, all with the aim of getting the dirt air from the wheel out of the way of the diffuser as quickly and effectively as possible. Aluminum. Aluminum. The pull or fuck? Pull. Um, either way, you know, you know, you might have. Whatever you're happy with. Try and keep it 90 degrees as well. 90 to the. You want to keep it 90 years. Oh, so direct? Yeah, have it like that. Okay, cool. It's fucking easy, this is. Moving on to the roll cage, Spooner went and bent up this main hoop for me because it's the most important and the most technical bit, the hardest bit to get right, he went ahead and did it, then I created the rest. Making up plates out of 3mm sheet metal, these will be used to brace up the strut top. Now I cut the strut brace to length and then weld them in position. These ones are a little more technical, we're making up the pieces to go from the main hoop onto the strut tops. Got those pieces welded into place, also made up a brace bar for the top. So I managed to get the cage on this entirety, I'll just give you a quick look. So I put a bar across the strut tops, come off them to the bends, into the main hoop, and I've also 
cross barred up this section here. I've also run this bar across the bottom and actually got this close enough to weld it to the floor. The only thing that's left to do in the cage in the future will be to gusset up these corners here. But uh, this is more than good enough for now. Onto the fender chops now. And the idea with these is the same as the bumper chop really. The idea is to get the dirty distorted air from around the wheel out as quickly as possible. And this is the best way to do it. currently Sunday, six days away from Landau and the very last day of our nice Jubilee bank holiday weekend. Uh, we haven't really got very good weather like we did yesterday but unfortunately we are going to plow through. The car is there, I can say that if I had to race it today I would be able to. There are definitely some things I want to get finished which we're going to try and get done today but if I had to it is race ready. Today's going to be a good one, a little bit different for me especially because we're doing fiberglass. So here's the fender cut. And you can see at the very bottom it doesn't meet the side skirt. I was going to make this up out of sheet metal, but I just wouldn't get the angles that I wanted. So I've got clay and that's what we're going to make up. Also, the headlights, we're going to make moulds out of them. And we're going to make our own fiberglass blanks for the headlights because we don't need them. This is my first time using clay and I really had no idea what I was doing. But I thought it couldn't be that difficult and I just threw myself into it. The process for making up these headlight blanks wasn't too difficult either. I basically just put some mould release on the headlight, then laid down the fibreglass matting of fibreglass over the top, put two or three layers on, left it an hour or so to dry and then just peeled it away from the headlight. And this is it, completely finished and ready to race. Got the slicks on, painted up all our new pieces of fiberglass, painted up a couple of the panels that were a bit messy, and gave it a wipe over. That is all it's needed. It is now officially ready for land out tomorrow. Thanks for watching you bunch of legends, tune in next time to see just how well the Frankenstein does around Landau circuit. <laughs>